inside my possibles pouch I have a few key pieces of equipment that allow me to maintain my knife while I'm out in the field. My main pieces of kit I can go on not quite indefinitely but for my lifetime anyways it's a sharpening stone this happens to be a fall niven a nagura stone something to brush it with I've used sticks, you can use pretty much anything I just have a little brush that keeps me going for a good long while but when I want to maintain my knife perfectly I also use some boiled linseed oil that I keep inside a plastic bag I have a little container of it with some paper towels in there that I can use clean up any problems if I have them first things first assess my blade which I've actually let get as, as bad as I can let it get for this video I've had it sitting around for a while waiting for it to get a nice coat of rust on it wasn't easy I clean my tools very often some on the spine as well okay so what I'm gonna do first <clears throat> is take off some of this rust I'm just gonna use the brush The light powder surface rust. See what I can take off with the brush. Carbon knife's rust. You need to know how to properly take care of a, a tool so it can continue taking care of you. Next thing I do. I wet my sharpening stone. A little spit works just fine. Rub my Nagura stone onto it. Either side works. I tend to use the coarser edge so it takes off more of the Nagura stone. It's more efficient with my time. do that until I have a good paste on there put that on my knife and I start brushing it It's pained me a little bit to see my knife in this condition. I do have to admit. Well, I think it's a valuable teaching tool. People that buy these high quality knives, like this LT Wright knife that I have, very high quality knife. And if it's not properly taken care for, it starts breaking down, corroding, being permanently damaged. I want to take off the organic matter that's on it. Okay, wipe that clean. Loose sleep, my finger. 
already it's that much better compared to the other side that's how quick it happens I'm gonna get another slurry for the other side so when I'm in the field long term that's usually where the process ends because these don't run out Nagura stones, sharpening stones again I've used sticks so it doesn't have to be a brush <clears throat> this next ingredient is an expendable ingredient very much so so this is the boiled linseed oil that I have just in a little container I keep in my ruck inside that plastic bag to make sure if it does leak it doesn't get all over my kit <clears throat> all I have to do is simply put a little bit on my blade now when I don't have this other things can suffice I've used other oils like oil from duck fat that works really well oil from different meats can work as well so what I do is I flip it over and that puts a little coating on the inside of the lid put my finger all over it and I use just my finger to apply small amount of oil going right up to the bevel now, the edge the side has been coated and do the other side grab a little more from my cap just using what I can get from the cap greatly enhances the life expectancy of my bottle of oil if I use a rag I use a huge amount of oil and it gets absorbed by the rag it's not needed it's a waste of oil, it's a waste of a precious resource okay last I'm gonna just do the spine and the handle I love how putting oil on these materials just brings them alive. Pommel, last.
after I've had the oil on for a minute so let it air out for just a moment and then wipe it down just to finish it off so it doesn't become gummy as it dries any old bandana will do It's important to take great care of tools that are so important. Close up my oil, nice and tight. Just have to clean my stone. Nagura is fine. To clean this, just brush it a little, spread the water around, and wipe it on a rag or my pants, whatever it is. Doesn't matter. Not too fussy. Clean. Ready for next time. Well, there it is. This is a knife that is happily cleaned the rust is completely gone all done in the field very easily very simply a few minutes time blade still deadly sharp it's ready to go that's all there is to it It's a beautiful blade. LT Wright makes excellent knives. I'm glad to be working with them. From the Indian Survival Knife. Be coming out later on this year. Mid to late summer. This blade's good to go. Ready for more adventures.